Welcome back to my channel, Axe Diabola Shade, with your host, Diabola Shade LCSW, and I'm back with a new video. Yes, it is a microlocks video. If you are new to my channel, my channel is where mental health meets the millennial with just a sprinkle of my micro -lock journey as well as some travel vlogs here and there and i'm so excited for this video you guys i am doing a review on some shampoo yes so if you've been following my journey if not go ahead and just watch the entire playlist of my micro -lock journey but if you have been following my journey you know at the beginning of my journey i was struggling with seborrheic dermatitis and I had been really diligent about making sure my scalp was in great condition. Now, eight months later, we are doing great. My scalp looks amazing. It feels amazing. I rarely have an itchy scalp. Y'all know I'm washing my hair once a week. If you miss my last wash day routine, then I will make sure I link that in the eye as well. And I am so excited that now that my scalp is in a really good condition that I can try to mess around with some new products. I love trying new things. I remember that just from my natural, uh, my loose natural hair journey of trying new products. I was such a product junkie. We're gonna try not to do that now in my micro life journey. But I did want to try a new shampoo that I have been seeing all over the interwebs, Beyonce's internet, and I'm excited. So let me show you what I will be reviewing today. Today, I am reviewing the Melanin Hair Care um, Shampoo, the African Black Soap Reviving Shampoo with revitalizing tea tree, soothing turmeric, and black cumin seed. I think I'm pronouncing that right. So yes, I am trying this new shampoo. It's one of, um, it's from one of the young ladies in the natural world that I've been following since I was in undergrad in undergrad which was natural 85 so this is her company and i'm just excited to see how this will do on my micro locks before i even get started i'm gonna go ahead and start with some pros i know i usually give my review at the end but i'm gonna get some give you some pros before i even start one thing about this is that it shipped very quickly i bought it from their actual website versus amazon because amazon was trying to charge an extra ten dollars and with their shipping it was about the same so i was just like mm, i'll just buy it from them directly i literally probably got it in like two or three days so i've been holding on to it for a while just hadn't used it yet the second thing that I'm so excited to utilize with this shampoo is that it comes with an applicator top. Y'all know that when I do my wash days, I put my shampoo in an application bottle and I put a little water in there to kind of dilute it. And that's how I've been washing my hair because I'm braiding and banding my micro locks since they still are not fully mature yet. So this takes the extra work of me having to actually add it to a bottle. So those are just two pros off the rip that I'm excited about with this particular product. But let's go ahead. I'm about to braid and band my hair per usual and you will see me as I get ready to braid and band. Let's get to it. Okay, so I am done braiding and banding. Um, I just did what, four in the front and four in the back. I'll turn around really quickly so you can see it. My parts are just not even, and that's how much I just really didn't care, okay? But y'all know I left enough at the root so you can put your fingers through it so we can glide all that shampoo through. Um, and this is going to be a braid out tomorrow. So that's what it is. It's going to be a braid out. That's the one thing I love about a good braid and band method. It's going to be a braid out tomorrow. So let's go ahead and get in the shower so we can try this shampoo.
Okay, y'all, I am fresh out of the shower. As y'all see, per usual, I have a black t-shirt on my hair to dry my locks, you know, for the most part, I soak up as much water as it can. Um, so I'm not gonna get my full review right now. I'm gonna wait till I take my braid out down tomorrow, and then I'll give my full review. But so far, it's some, it, it's some pros and cons. Uh, I don't wanna say anything too prematurely because like I said, I wanna see what happens when I'm done with everything, but I'll just give you a tidbit. So far, it was super easy to use the application or the applicator on the top. So that was really good. Um, I feel like you don't need a lot. You don't need a lot to go a long way. I'm gonna have to go back and look at the footage because I couldn't see myself, so I don't know. I know I felt it being sudsy the second wash, but the first wash, I really couldn't tell. So I'm gonna have to go back and see. And then I'll let you know how, or y'all be able to see, was it really sudsy? And um, so far, um, rinsing it out that second time, my hair just felt extremely, um, just like depleted. It felt like everything was stripped <laughs> out of it, which can be good or bad. Um, I guess with other shampoos I've used, um, they haven't just made my hair feel stripped. So it may, so far, it has made my hair feel extremely stripped. So we gonna see. I'm about to get ready to spray my hair with my typical leave-in. Y'all know this is one of my favorite leave-in conditioners because um, I don't put conditioner like the cream in my hair. I need to go buy some of that that's at the bottom. So I'm gonna put that on my hair and then I'm gonna follow up with just putting a little foam just to come back some frizzing. That's the foam that I am using. Sorry, I'm looking at my self in the mirror now that I can finally see myself. So yes, I will be using these two. Oh, and I'll be using my Clobestasol. Y'all know that's what the dermatologist gave me for my seborrheic dermatitis. So these are about to be the three products I put on my hair. And then tomorrow I will come back with the results and my final uh, review of the Melanin Hair Care Shampoo. Good morning, I am back. It is the next day. As you see, my hair is 100% dry. So what I'm about to do now is just take out my bands and unbraid my hair so we can see the results. And then I will give you my full review of the Melanin Hair Care African Shampoo that I use. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, I am back with the results. Check out the body. Yes, oh, I love a good braid out, y'all. Like, I just really love a good braid out. So, yes. All right, well, these are my results. I wanna go ahead and just get into the review so we can wrap this video up. Okay, so the first thing I want to say, and I believe I said it earlier in the video, is that one, 
I, I love customer service. The product shipped very quickly. So that was definitely a pro for me. If you get this product, you probably will not have to wait long for it. It's just like shipping it through Amazon, but it was $10 cheaper on the website than it was on Amazon. So I would probably suggest definitely if it's in stock, getting it from um, the actual website. I tried to go to Ulta and Sephora in my area, in my city, and I only went to two, but they didn't have it in stock. So your, prob your best bet is probably just to get it off their website. I love the applicator. I love that, especially because I braid and band and I already use an applicator bottle when I'm doing my braid and band method and my wash day. So this just was easier and more convenient. It just glided right through the parts. So I truly love that as an extreme pro for me, a shampoo bottle with an applicator top. So yes, that was definitely a pro for me. I felt like the bottle was relatively large in size for a shampoo. I spent $20 of my own money on this shampoo and it was a good size, you know, it wasn't no rinky dink size and you really don't need a lot. Um, the reason I feel like I might've used more than I really needed to was because I couldn't see. So I, I didn't realize until I watched the footage that it was um, sudsing up that first wash so which is really good but you really don't need a lot but i will say with the texture you can't really feel it like i don't know how to explain it's not like water it's not what i'm saying like where it's just running through your hand it's not like that but the texture is i don't want to say slimy but maybe like dow soap <laughs> the little dispenser soap um that you use for your hand washing Sometimes you want to put a little extra because you like you really can't feel. That's how it feels like. So I couldn't really feel um, it in my hands or I didn't really feel like I was putting enough. So I think I over put, uh, I put more in there than I needed to, but I still have a lot left. Like, uh, let me show you the bottle so you can see how much I actually used. So if you can see this line right here, this is how this I used from here to here. So that to me is not too much but i know i probably didn't even have to use that much i just couldn't feel that it was such up that first wash i washed my hair twice anyway but yeah that's about the line from which i have used um just for that one wash day so this is gonna last me a while so i like that that's another pro is going to last you a while um i think i have <laughs> a lot of hair for the most part so it really got my hair clean my hair does feel clean so i think that is also a pro if you decide to purchase this product on your own if you notice on the first wash i only concentrate on my scalp like that's what i concentrate i let the rest of it just fall and coat my strands but i don't really put it directly on my strands that first wash the second wash is where you start seeing me put it directly on my strands and just really working it through but it was super easy to apply and it just wasn't messy i will also say that just a little bit goes a long way so even though i might have used more than i want to you can see that a little goes a long way so that is definitely a positive here I can't, I'm trying to decide if I feel like the consistency is a pro or a con. And the reason I say that is because I, because of how it felt, I thought I needed more, but I really didn't. So to me, I would want a, a thicker consistency. So I think I might have to say it's a con for me, but I would have, I would have preferred a thicker consistency consistency so I can know how much I am using um and so I don't have to use more here than I need to now if I'm washing my hair in the mirror you know doing my wash at the sink then I can see how much I'm using and I'm not gonna have to use more but if I'm in the shower and I can't see then that consistency will really throw you off so I think that is like a con that I will say that I just really don't care for the consistency I like a very creamy thicker consistency another con i just honestly felt like the shampoo stripped my hair i know i kind of commented on that yesterday but i did feel like it stripped my hair that second wash so i'm feeling my hair now and i i want to say it's because i use the follow-up with the leave-in conditioner that y'all know i use that that's why it doesn't feel as drying but today it doesn't feel dry but yesterday like when it was bare with no products on it 
I feel like, oh, please don't let my hair break off. It just felt really drying and like it, it stripped everything for it to not have any sulfates, parabens, silicones, mineral oil, and all this other stuff, formaldehydes. Yeah, it doesn't have any of that. I would have thought it wouldn't have felt as stripping, but it did. But for some people, that may be an extreme positive. They might want their hair super, super clean. Just right now with my style locks, y'all know, I've been told not to put like creamy conditioner on my hair until my locks are mature. So that's another reason why I follow up with a leave-in conditioner spray so I can at least moisturize my hair. But because I cannot follow up with a creamy conditioner, this could be very stripping for your hair, at least for it was for me. So take that into consideration. But if you love the squeaky, clean, dry, you, you don't have nothing left in your hair, then this probably is the shampoo for you. Okay, so that is all of my pros and cons. As you see, my pro list outweighed my two cons that I had. Will I use this shampoo again? Yes, I mean, I'm gonna use it just because one, I bought it. <laughs> but then two, you know, I love my results today. I don't, with the follow-up leave-in conditioner, I don't feel like my hair is so dry. So it's not so bad. I just prefer, I think right now, the Head and Shoulders Royal Oils because my hair just felt still so moisturized after washing it. So I will use this maybe want like every other wash to clean to make sure my hair is super clean i do feel like this shampoo would give my hair extremely clean of any products that i have so i'll probably alternate washes one week i will do the head and shoulders royal oils and then this week the next week i will do that uh melanin hair care shampoo and just alternate to make sure i am definitely getting all this gunk and junk out of my hair so that is my review if you want to try it out you go ahead and try it if you've already tried it out please comment below what your thoughts was on this product i'm so excited to just continue to bring you more content with my micro locks if you have any ideas of what you want to see me do with my micro locks or what products you will want me to review then please drop them in the comments as well if you're new to my channel go ahead and subscribe welcome we love you and we are here for mental health and micro locks and traveling okay that's what we are here for follow me on instagram twitter and facebook at x diabla and i will see you all in my next video bye